If you have a carbon fibre bike with a carbon fibre seat post, you might find that over time your seat post slips down ever so slightly, which is not only very annoying, it could also scratch your seat post up and is going to completely mess up your riding position. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. Thankfully, the ways to fix this are actually pretty simple, unless of course you've got a major issue with either your frame or your seat post. And I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute, because first things we need to know, are what is it you actually need for this job? Well, you're gonna need some standard grease, you're gonna need some fiber grip or carbon paste or whatever else different brands wanna call it. You're gonna need some kind of torque wrench. You're also gonna need a selection of Allen or hex wrenches or then we're going to need a tape measure, some disc brake cleaner or isopropyl alcohol, and of course, a cloth to clean everything up. Oh, one more thing actually, is you could also make your own version of a carbon sort of grip and assembly paste just by taking your bog standard normal grease and adding some fine sand into it. You're going to basically create the same product. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the seat post from your bike. Now, if you have electronic shifting on your bike, just like this one, you need to be careful because in some instances, the battery is housed inside the seat post. So as you take it out, you will have cables running up to the battery. You need to be careful not to snag or damage them on any areas. Also, bikes with an internal clamp system, such as this one and many others out there, as you take the seat post out, in some instances, the clamp assembly can slip forwards and fall down the seat tube, and then you're going to end up fishing around to try and dig it back out. So don't say, I didn't warn you. Right, let's get this seat post out. To do this, loosen the seat post clamp and carefully remove the seat post from the frame, taking care with any cables. With the seat post removed, wipe it clean and use any disc brake cleaner to help if needed, as well as then cleaning the inside of the frame too. And the reason we're doing this is to make sure we've got nice clean surfaces to start with when we can, at a later stage, apply the fresh assembly or fibre grip paste, which is going to help everything bind together. Also, what's very important at this stage is now that we've got the seat post clean, we can start to visually assess and look at it to make sure there's no cracks or damage that could be impacting the clamping performance of it. It's important to note that on some seat posts, you will find a section or area which feels quite rough and abrasive to touch. Don't worry about this. It's designed to be like that, and the idea behind it is to help stop your seat post slipping. But if you're watching this video in the first place, well, it's perhaps not working as intended. So, make sure everything's good to go. It seems to be, we can go on to the next step. Having checked the seat post is all okay, if you do find any sort of issues that you should feel concerned about, this would be a case where you need to head down to your local bike shop to get them to either check the post further or look to go for a replacement. If you bought your bike online, this is the stage where you would contact customer service to seek their guidance. So what I'm gonna do is carefully place my seat post into the bottle cage and that'll hold it up out of the way. Next step is to clean and lubricate the threaded part of the clamp mechanism to make sure that it moves freely. If you're unsure how this comes apart, you can just undo it a few turns and then place grease on the exposed threads. After that comes the most crucial part of this job, which is applying a thin layer of fiber grip or carbon paste onto the area of the seat post that will sit inside of the frame. The fibre grip will increase the friction between the frame and the seat post when it's done up. After this, you can insert the seat post to the bike, taking care not to trap any cables and then wiping off any excess grease. With the seat post loosely inserted into the bike, is at this stage we need to go about making sure you set your saddle height correctly. Now, the reason I didn't say at the start to either put any tape or mark your seat post with a dry wipe pen is because presumably if the saddle has been slipping, it might not actually be in the right place. So to get our saddle height right, that's what we need our tape measure for. Now I know that my saddle height from the center of the bottom bracket to the center of the top section of the saddle is 82.5 centimeters. So that's exactly what we're gonna set it to. So take there, down, a little bit lower. Now, once you've got your saddle height to the correct amount, 
relative to you, we need to move on to actually tightening up the clamp assembly. Now when it comes to tightening up the clamp assembly, you can do the majority of it with your normal hex or allen or torque wrench. So that's what we're going to do first is apply a little bit of tension onto it. And now, at this stage, when we want to go to tighten it up correctly, it's important to use a torque wrench. There's two different examples here from Park Tools. This one is the TW 5.2 ratcheting torque wrench. And there's also this one, which is a little bit of a smaller and easier one to use. Now, all different bikes will have different torque settings for how tight the seat clamp assembly needs to be. Usually, it is either written or painted on the component or on the frame around the right area, somewhere in the region of five Newton meters. On this bike, it actually isn't. So to fix that issue, I've jumped online, found the user manual, um, and I can see here, I've put in the model and the year code of the bike, and here it tells me not only how tight this needs to be, which is five Newton meters, it also highlights the different areas in the clamp system where I needed to apply my grease, as I've explained to you, and also the fiber grip paste. So that is a nice clear way of doing it. So let's get this clamp assembly tightened up. Get that straight, actually. straight. All right, five Newton meters. It's tight. With the clamp assembly torqued up as per manufacturer's recommendations, any little dust covers such as this can nicely slide back into place. And for 99.9% .9 of people, that will be your problem fixed. Jump on your bike, go for a ride, and make sure none of it's gonna move or settle into place. If, however, your problem is persisting, well then we're back to the stage of what I was talking about earlier, where we need to really start assessing all of the different areas to make sure there aren't any defects with either the frame or the seat post, because once it's already tightened up, like I said, sometimes it can make cracks a little bit more easier to identify. If you've still got problems, well, it's gonna need a much deeper investigation, and for that, you're gonna have to head to your local bike shop or take the bike back to your manufacturer or retailer for further investigations. But, for, as I said, for 99% of people, that's gonna be a problem fixed. In that case, you're ready to roll, and I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Not that it's a particularly fun subject to discuss, but do let me know in the comments section down below if you have any other hints and tricks and tips of your own that can help other people with their slipping seat post. But for me, this is the easiest solution and the one that nine times out of 10 fixes your problem. Right, for all things bike tech related, subscribe to GCN Tech. Right, I'm out of here. See you later, bye.